Assalamu alaikum. Greetings of peace to all of you. Uh, wishing you a beautiful, beautiful day. Today, we're so honored again to have Sheikh Muhammad bin Yahya Nanawi. Um, we are so, so honored to have him and listen to his uh, words of inspiration this morning. Sheikh? Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa sallallahu alayhi wa muhammadin wa ala wa sallam. Good morning to all of you, and uh, many thanks to uh, ISB Atlanta and uh, our sister Sumaya Khalifa and the whole team. And I hope you all are having a great morning uh, today. Uh, in times of crisis, leadership manifests. And uh, one of the things that uh, Islam taught us is uh, leadership versus uh, reactionship, if we can say so. Um, and uh, the Prophet wasallam, and not just our Prophet, all our prophets, Moses, Musa, Jesus, Isa, uh, Abraham before, alayhim salatu wassalam, have all showed, uh, shown us that leadership is about taking initiative and moving forward in light of the circumstances. It was never about reactionship. Um, surely emotions are high today in our country and in the whole world, and we continuously every single day uh, pray that uh, the create the all loving creator of all removes uh, these calamities and difficulties and suffering from people we're all thinking about our health our family's health our freedom our fears our wishes and our futures and rightfully so everyone um, people are responsible and the peace told us that uh, you ought to be responsible. Kullukum ra'ak. All of you ought to be responsible human beings in society. Kullukum mas'ulun an ra'iyyati. Everyone is responsible for whatever they're responsible for. Uh, I've gotten many phone calls over the past few days, uh, or the past few weeks actually, sorry, about people who have invested their whole uh, saving in the stock market or in other things that have gone seriously down and it takes it's taking them to depression or absolute panic fear uh, lots of other emotions greed selfishness and other things that wreak havoc in our uh, life together but all this is not leadership nor does it stem from faith if any it stems from fear and or it stems from reactionship and therefore the point here is to actually look for the light in the prophet's examples alayhim salatu wassalam peace be upon them because it, it this mean it doesn't mean that you don't actually uh, have emotions or you don't react to what's happening but it means that you lead yourself and people in light of what's happening rather than react become a reactant to what's happening and that means we need to also check our emotions and do what's best for others and not just ourselves uh, today when we see these things in in the times of the corona and the times of calamities that have uh, the calamity that has gripped the world really and, and taken a hold of it uh, the important thing that faith brings us with uh, with leadership is to look at sacrifice versus selfless selfishness sorry or selflessness versus selfishness and that's one of the things that distinguishes people of faith is that they embrace sacrifice and one of the most disappointing things is when faith meets profound selfishness or selfishness that display in the midst of a crisis and that's why it's it's very easy to spot these things nowadays when you see people hoarding things and when you see people withholding also on giving versus this is the time to give this is the time where uh, a leadership comes in a crisis always reveals uh, and amplifies what's already there and that reminds me with sayyidna umar anhu. It's a narration in the Sirah, it's not a hadith per se, but the scholars of prophetic biographies and others mention it. And when a man told him 
uh, I want to do business with so and so. And Umar radiallahu anhu, being the leader of the community, says, Do you know this person good, well enough? He says, Sure, I know him. He says, Have you traveled with him? Have you gone through difficulties and hardship, hardships with him? He says, No, I haven't. He says, Umar tells him, Well, maybe you've seen him in the mosque praying and all this, and, and, and that's it. He says, Yes. He says, Go, you don't know him. And therefore, that's why they call in the Arabic language safar, uh, safar for travel. But safar has another dimension in the Arabic language, it mean, which means it unveils or reveals. Safar reveals and amplifies the true, gen, the true nature of people. And uh, for, for people in times of calamities, that uh, it may reveal selfishness and self-righteousness, but for people of faith, it reveals exactly the opposite. It calls them for the best in them and appeals to the best in them, and that is less selfishness and less self-righteousness and actually more positive contribution. Uh, nowhere in our history with uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or Prophet Mo Jesus or Prophet Moses or anyone, we saw them, for example, stockpiling ample food and supplies for themselves, nor did we ever see them in the worst of moments and the most difficult of moments ever spreading fear. In fact, they were doing exactly the opposite. They were spreading hope because their reliance was not on what there is around them, but their reliance and their reliance and their source, are, a source of hope was on the creator of all, that the almighty of all, that can change things and their hope were, was always in him. I'm reminded by a, a tradition, a hadith that a Tirmidhi narrates, where the Prophet وسلم, allegedly said, Man asbaha minkum mu'afan fi badanih. Whoever amongst you wakes up in the morning, and his health is there, or her health is there. Amin and fi sirbe, and he's safe, or she's safe, in their home. and he or she has the food that is sufficient for the day only. dunya, is as if they have the whole world in their in their hand, and. That's a call for gratitude. That's a call for thankfulness. That's a call for counting our blessings. And that's a call for selflessness and a lot less level or a much lower level of self-righteousness. I think when we look at examples of Abu Dharr al-Ghafari, one of the prophetic companions, or Ja'far bin Abi Talib, who Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu ajma'in used to call him Qutbu Sakha, the pole of generosity. He would go and just feed those people who used to be in a suffa in the prophetic masjid. A suffa was a place for people who are not from the city of Medina, but they come there and they stay there and they sleep there and they learn there and they don't really have families. Jafar used to be the one who would come in and give them food. And when we look at the seerah of Jafar, we don't see him hoarding months of supplies, let's say, for themselves. Nor do we see them, uh, do, nor do we see Jafar asking the poor there in a suffa, why weren't they as wise and smart as he was? This is where leadership comes. The best leaders show sacrifice and selflessness in times of crisis. And that's very, very important, I think, uh, when, uh, uh, among the lessons that we learn from the Prophet's stories. I leave you with this and with the love and the mercy of all of the all merciful. Thank you so much. Allah bless you and you have a wonderful day. Sheikh we thank you so much for the beautiful, beautiful inspiration, leadership versus reaction -ship. You have us going for the rest of the day. Thank you again, and we look forward to hearing from you again next week. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.